It is high time for France to lift its knee off our neck and put an end to this unjust oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization, and neocolonization have caused immeasurable suffering. It's time to put an end to this cycle of oppression. It's high time for France to leave us alone. Africa belongs to Africans, not France. Hello, wherever you are watching from, thank you so much. I am the Kenyan Beast, of course. We are doing it the African way every day, every time. Uh, for those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. I love you. The new subscribers, here is the place to be. Now, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the uh, the youngest president of uh, Senegal, uh, the, president, the newly president of Senegal. There is this speech, it was towards France. Uh, this speech, this man should be respected. This speech is kind of speech we want to hear from the presidents of, uh, of, 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 of Africa. Uh, let's hear it and then we're going to react about it. It is high time for France to lift its knee off our neck and put an end to this unjust oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization, and neocolonization have caused immeasurable suffering. It's time to put an end to this cycle of oppression. It's high time for France to leave us alone. It's time for France to take a cue from its European neighbors and learn a valuable lesson in independence. Germany is the leading economic power in Europe, significantly surpassing France, which is ranked as the third or fourth largest economic power globally. Germany does not exploit any country, any colony, I can mention Italy, I can mention Spain, who had colonies before, but who do not exploit anyone, who do not interfere, who do not impose leaders in their former colonies. On what grounds does France believe it can continue to impose leaders on us and make choices on our behalf? This must come to an end. And the emerging Africa, the African youth, the African elites, and the African diaspora all stand united in saying, no, it cannot continue any longer. France's hypocrisy is evident and pervasive in daily life. Let's examine the cases of Mali and Chad as prime examples of this hypocrisy. In Chad, where the constitutional process has been interrupted, France applauded and its president visited to officially consecrate the new king's coronation ceremony. In Mali, where it is not the constitutional process that has been interrupted, but the transition process, France has condemned and even packed up its things to say that it is leaving Mali. That's hypocrisy. It's the double standard. It is the double language that France employs in its dealings with Africa. During our questioning of Mr. Jean-Yves Le Drian regarding the situation in Ivory Coast and France's decision to allow a third term, he provided a clear explanation. He stated that while he accepted the third term for Ouattara, he refuses it for Belarus. He emphasized that France has condemned the situation in Belarus and has actively encouraged the European Union to do the same. Le Drian explains that in Belarus, millions protested, unlike Ivory Coast, where there were no mass demonstrations on the streets. This is how France deals with African issues. Personally, we expect absolutely nothing from France. We desire her to cease meddling in our matters so that the people of Senegal can exercise their freedom of choice rather than being influenced by France's selection of a candidate using the tactics we are aware of. We begin by targeting individuals, adorning them with the Legion of Honor or a similar knightly rank, enlisting them in Masonic lodges and informing them to prepare themselves as they will be next in line. Even the hypothesis that Macky Sall may not succeed we know who is being prepared by France. This must come to an end. It will not occur in this manner any longer. Let's be clear. We have absolutely nothing against the French people. In France, both political and citizen voices are rising to hold and express the same discourse as the one I'm currently presenting to you. For example, the deputies, such as Mrs. Frédéric Dumas, who regularly speaks on the platform of the assembly, who regularly writes to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, since she is a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, to raise this unfair behavior of France towards Africa, hold the same speech as us. The same 
Mr. Jean-Luc Mélenchon, Jean-Paul Lecoq, André Chassain, all deputies, hold the same discourse as us and hundreds and hundreds of other voices. The NGO NGOs, like other nonprofit organizations, are doing remarkable work in the same direction. We strongly urge France to listen to the voices that speak to it about our plan for a more collaborative, fairer, and sustainable partnership between Africa and France. It is crucial that we work together towards a future that is equitable, just, and environmentally conscious. If she listens, I believe we'll have beautiful days ahead in our collaboration together. If he doesn't know how to cut it, thinking he can continue to function like in the time of our grandfathers, this African youth no longer accepts it. France must make preparations for a definitive break and completely withdraw from Africa. Africa belongs to Africans, not France. Welcome back. You have heard what uh, he said to France. France, you should leave Senegal alone. You should leave Africa alone. You should leave West Africa alone. Because France is the only country that have caused a lot of uh, atrocities in, 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 in uh, countries in Africa. Because each and every country in uh, West Africa, um, Senegal, Botswana, uh, even Congo, all of them, most of them are suffering because of France. Because France wants to exploit the resources of Africa, but they, they want to do it in a, in a way that people will suffer. They want to, uh, people to suffer in West Africa. They want to, they want to take everything, you know? Uh, I'm not saying that other colonial countries, uh, I'm not saying the country like Germany, country like, um, like, like uh, UK, th that they are good, or Spain, or Russia. I'm not saying they are good, because what we are fighting for is to make sure all the uh, white countries, or the Westerners, or the Supremes, the Supremacies, to move out of Africa. But what I'm saying is, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make a point here, is that, it's better these countries, at least, they are doing it with a little dignity. A little dignity. I'm not saying they are doing it with dignity. They are doing it with a little dignity. But France, wow. France is exploiting Africa like there is no tomorrow. Terminating of presidents. They want to put their puppets. Whenever a president arises to be against them, you find there's a lot of coups in Western countries because France has a way of colonizing these countries and that way is so, so brutal. I'm happy to see young presidents in power. I'm happy to see young leaders in power who understands, who have the knowledge and who knows their tactics because these young leaders they, we have learned about the history we know about what they did to our forefathers we know what they did to, to our resources we know how they looted our resources we know where our gold is we know how they treated our ancestors we are not new and we don't want something like that to happen to our children that's why we need young leaders to power, young leaders who will speak without fear. You see right now in Kenya, uh, the president of Kenya was in a certain university and young people were not afraid of him. They told to his face that you are not doing good, this and this and this. That's the courage we need. That's the courage we want. And, and this man, this president, this speech, this man deserves a respect. Deserved respect. Because we need to tell them on their face. We need to tell France. We need to tell oppressors on their face that you have no room in Africa again. That you have no room in our countries again. You have no room in our resources again. We need to tell them. We don't need to fear. We don't need puppets, the leaders who are puppets. We don't need leaders who are going around taking loans and, and uh, knowing very well that their country will be auctioned someday. We don't want leaders who go around taking loans knowing very well they have auctioned the airport. 
the, the, the seaport. We want leaders who will tell them on their face that you need to move. Leave us alone. We need to run our matters as we want to do. That's the best thing I want to hear. And this is the best speech I've heard. Ibrahim Traore is doing a great job. And I, I wanna, I, we want to have just three presidents like Ibrahim Traore. Only three in Africa. That's enough. Three presidents in Africa who will aside with Ibrahim Traore. Who will be on the same page with Traore. Who will buy the agenda of Ibrahim Traore. That's what we need. Leadership of uh, the old people is about to end. I usually say the old people are good. The old leaders, they are good because they have seen a lot. But they are bad because they have seen a lot and nothing scares them even if we shout to them even if we tell them we are sleeping uh, we are sleeping hungry even if we the people tell them we don't have electricity we don't have good roads they don't care because they lived in a period where they they didn't have electricity they didn't have good roads they didn't have good education they didn't have good medical so they want us to live like the way they live they, they were living. That's why you may find your grandpa telling you during our time, we were not eating the two, thrice a day. We were only eating once. And it was only drinking water. Why do you want to eat thrice a day? You will find your grandparents telling you all the days, we were walking a hundred kilometers per hour, walking. Why do you need a car or a bicycle? Just to walk. Our old leaders, they don't see the benefit of change. They don't see a benefit of revolution. All they see is the old times, the old age situation. And they want to trick, they want to put us into their old ways. And that's what we want to change. That's what we want to change. And my message is the, to the youths of Africa. Let's give chance to, 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 to young leaders. And we are the young leaders. So let's stand up. Vie for these seats. First of all, before you vie for these seats, you have to know, have knowledge about the history. Know your history, the history of your country, the history of Africa. Know your constitutions, know your rights. And we have to give ch ch chance to ourselves as the youths and young people of Africa to bring change that we want because maybe it's only us who are seeing this but maybe the old leaders are not seeing this we cannot blame them so france france uk all the supreme supremacy countries you need to leave africa give africa a chance to make itself i know you fear I know you fear that you may lose the supremacy. I know you fear you may lose the control. But this is the only way. This is the only way that the world will move forward. When Africa is independent and Africa is running the things, it's the only way we can avoid the wars we are seeing in the world. Yeah. So... Ibrahim Traore, the president of Burkina Faso, the president of Senegal, the president of Mali, Niger. I, I, I'm looking forward for you to join hands together and do something great and, and make people believe again in Africa. Make African in diaspora believe again in Africa. Because a lot of Africans are fleeing out of the country, are fleeing out of the motherland because they don't see any future in this country or they don't see life in Africa but we are looking forward for greater Africa the youths of Africa the youths of Kenya Tanzania Uganda Rwanda Burundi Congo Mom 
the youths of Senegal, Ghana, Nigeria, Mozambique, Benin, Gambia. It is the time to wake up and it, it is the time to tell them on their face. It is the time not to worship the white supremacy. It is the time to do away with the neocolonization. It is the time to say no to the system controlled by the white people. It is the time to be innovative for our countries. It is the time to make our country great. Tell me in the comment section what do you think. I am the Kenyan beast of course. We are doing it the African way. Peace be with you.